Hello, I'm Sherry Phillips. I'm the Conservator for Contemporary Art at the Art Gallery of Ontario. And I'm working on this piece by Simon Starling. It's called Infestation Piece, Muscled Moor. When it came out of the water, it was, you know, glistening and shiny and fresh and um, none of the rust was there. But, but um, of course, very soon it took on this pattern, a very close to what it has now. But I think over time, it's, the rust has obviously continued and there's always been some sort of casualties every now and again with the, a few muscles falling off, mostly because the metal is disintegrating, not that their incredible tenacious grip is, is loosening. Uh, what we're looking at here is a shell attached to a corrosion carbuncle that's actually actively lifting off the surface. So without consolidation, we will lose this piece of corrosion in addition to the shell that's attached to it. I formulated a resin. It's an acrylide resin. And what I'm doing is playing with the, um, the solution of the resin and trying to get it to flow in behind the shells and then um, actually stick them back on as it flows in behind. Some of the shells are now gone and you can see just in this area here where there's these little spiky parts those are actually byssus connections that no longer have a shell attached to them. So those are a really good clue for me about where I might want to revisit um, attaching new shells because when we talked with Simon about um, how to proceed with this artwork and its continued care, um, he's actually quite happy overall, but we would like the sculpture to look a little bit fuller. So what we're going to do is, once I finish consolidating the shells that are currently in place, once I finish trying to introduce some adhesive under the lifting corrosion layers, then I'm going to find areas where there clearly shells had established themselves at one time, and I'm going to reintroduce shells from a stock that I have um, from the, the, the original um, creation of this piece. So you can see it's going to be a really long and very arduous process, but you know, sometimes conservation is like that. <laughs>